let us see what is a statically determinate beam and an indeterminate beam so first of all a statically determinate beam normally a single beam is the one which is supported by a hinge on one end and a roller at the other end so such beam can be called as a simply supported beam now for such a beam the reactions are determined by using the static equilibrium equations we know the static equilibrium equations are sigma h is equal to 0 sigma v is equal to 0 and sigma m is equal to 0 so by using these three static equilibrium equations we will be able to determine the reactions for example in this beam the reactions if we take these support as a and as b the reactions can be taken as r a and r b so by using the condition sigma v is equal to 0 and sigma m equal to 0 and if there is any loading condition conditions we will be able to determine the reactions r a and r b that is why we call this as a statically determinate b now if the ends of the beam are restrained or clamped or encastered or fixed so that means there will not be any simple supports it will be fixed at one end or fixed at both the ends so in such case when the supports are fixed there will be a restraining moments which will make the structural element to be a statically indeterminate structure or a redundant structure the reason is when the loads acts on the structures on structure on such a beam the if you are taking this support as a and the right support as b the reactions acting at a will be a vertical reaction a horizontal reaction and there will be a moment same way at b there will be a vertical reaction a horizontal reaction and there will be a moment so totally we have six reactions six unknowns and only three equilibrium equations are available therefore the statical indeterminacy becomes three we need additional three equations to determine the unknowns that is why such a beam becomes statically indeterminate beam now so because of these restraints restraints means at these restraint because there will be moments okay so since there are restraints these restraints will make the slopes at the ends zero so since there are restraint when you are taking the deflection the slopes will be equal to zero s will be equal to zero whereas when you take a simply supported beam your deflection will be like this so the slope is not equal to zero slope not equal to zero here at the support the slope will be equal to zero so the slopes at the ends becomes zero and hence in a fixed beam the deflection and slopes are zero at the support so when you consider a fixed beam your slope is equal to zero your deflection will also be equal to zero at the support 